number five, I guess, guys. Um, so my first reaction was anger because you didn't know me as a wife. Your father was my life. He was my best friend. He was the father of my children. There was no one on earth who knew me and loved me as much as your dad. Your father's last words to me were that I was the greatest wife in the world and he loved me. When your dad died, he died at 11.18 a.m. They had to kick me out of the hospital at 4.30. I could not leave your father because I did not want to leave him alone. His death was not something I was prepared for. At the age of 27, you don't think you're going to lose your partner. You don't think you're going to have to start over. And I had no support system, guys. Your, na your nana. Your nana was an addict doing her own thing. Rick and I never got along because Rick was an asshole. Always has been, always will be. Jeff and Judy, they stepped up when they could. If I called them and said, hey, guys, I, I can't. My dad's not home. I took a couple of pills. Can you come get the boys? They would. That hurt that they turned on me because I don't know why. What possibly could have happened other than were you possibly in on something that I'm not aware of? So you not knowing me made me want to start showing you. So I started writing my feelings and my thoughts. And I started posting pictures because I knew you didn't see the happy birthday parties and the happy, you know, family get togethers and the times that you were on the front need, um, sorry, front page of the newspaper, and, you know, the, all the events you participated in that you were beautiful, you were clean, shiny hair, fed, you were not neglected children. Shit happened guys. And I can't take it back. But there was never a moment that I did not love you. But when daddy died, I didn't know how to exist. My brain shut down completely and totally. All I wanted to do was sleep. Because if I was sleeping, daddy was alive. Okay? Now, I've had lots of time to think about how, when, what could have possibly happened the matter that comes to mind to me is Ava's death was my fault. She got into my pills. There's no way around it. So everything else is arbitrary because it doesn't make sense. And I've tried to make it make sense. I've gone over a million things in my mind. So when you responded the way you did Carter I thought maybe I should start showing you it wasn't what you were told and that you were very loved